Good morning, good morning, everybody. We're over here doing some more mailboxes up. Today's our day. Now we are going to open some uh, mystery mailboxes on live feed. You guys got a knife? <laughs> so I got a gun. <laughs> Mystery mailboxes, guys. Retail regulators. Uh, we sell the small ones for fifty, the big ones for ninety-nine. And sometimes we get lucky enough to have a customer want to open these, so we just jump on live feed. Uh, it's, again, these are our random ten items. We don't know what you're getting. It's easy to do live as well. Yes. <laughs> Dump them all out on the table. Let's see. <laughs> I'm gonna try and not touch other people. Yeah, I'm gonna try and not touch other people's packages because I get yelled at all the time for that from you guys. And also, I'm gonna try not to swear or use any profanity, even if I get excited. Yeah. Is that for a uh, growing? Yeah. Th those definitely look like some special kind of plants right there. So we are opening <laughs> undeliverable mail. <laughs> Live. Daylight, nighttime. I can't help it. Look, I'm already touching this stuff. I can't even help it. <laughs> I can't even help it. <laughs> I'm tired of hearing about how Chris Pratt touches things. Oh, looks like microchip. Undeliverable mail, guys. It could be anything and everything. It could be from eBay. It could be used. It could be anything. You have no idea what you're getting. Woo, look at the. Amazon sale. What the yeah. heck is it? Lithium ion. It's a battery, something. Factory setting is empty. That's a that's a hard drive. It's a hard drive. Yep, that's a hard drive. Weird looking hard drive. Next. Don't touch it with your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> what'd you find? Did you what you get a sweater? Let's see it. What's on the back? Uh, it's like on the sleeves, huh? Snakes. What's it say? It's like queens and skulls. Whoa. Type 42, those are nice. Those are kind of cool. Those are nice, yeah. I'm going to go play basketball now. You don't have to pump them. Yeah. Undeliverable mail, guys. We're opening these on live Facebook. So you guys can check it out and experience it. Again, anything and everything. Yeah, those are, it's a windmill. It's a steel windmill that looks like it does this when the wind really blows. <laughs> Again, I'm not psychic guys, but I've seen some of this stuff before. What do we got? Assholes live for oh, that's not a bad Watch word, right? Mouth. Assholes live forever clothes? That's not a bad word. <laughs> it's a brand. If it's designer, who knows? We, we don't know. Today. Corduroy. Got some corduroy. Where's uh, workout pants all day long every day, so we don't know designer. <laughs> <laughs> the randomness. Costume. This look three extra. Oh, two of them, Dan. <laughs> two windmills. Open one of those up. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah, that's Oh, that's how for the the wind. So the wind it makes it do this. Woof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try to bend it. It's like a shine package. <laughs> you got a whole wardrobe? Yeah. Yeah, she got a shine package for sure. <laughs> <laughs> we get a lot of meat anyway. Don't crush them. <laughs> oh, there's one more. Big fatty. Big fatty. Big fatty. Careful with that knife. This is like coke. Huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, three. <laughs> it's a woobie. <laughs> How do you know what a woobie is? It's an adult toy. <laughs> I was thinking that movie. It's a unicorn. What? Oh, is it a big unicorn? <laughs> oh, you got you got to try that on, bro. Your way. <laughs> Jacob will put it on. 
<laughs> Jacob will put it on for sure. The whole store with it. <laughs> all, day. All, day. all day. He wore the dragon one all day. Is it a pillow? It's a pillow. Oh, it is a movie. It's not a unicorn. It's a movie. It is a movie. It's a movie. <laughs> it's a movie. Got everybody Here's excited, bro. These are expensive. They're used for pregnant women. Oh, like $120. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the pillowcase. My wife had to have one each time she was pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, hey, I got a whole bunch of messages. Hello from Bell, Florida. What's up, Patty? Samantha, we just got ours in the mail. I'm saving it for my daughter for Xmas Eve. Yeah, it'll be fun. They're a lot of fun. Hard drive for a repeater laptop. Laptop hard drive. Hard drive. Hard drive for a repeater. Somebody online said that's for a repeater. Well, I don't have a repeater. There's a I'll couple it, of them, huh? I put it back online. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It'll be for sale on eBay, guys. <laughs> Scotty, Thomas, hey, can we order big box and get it shipped to us? In, I'm in Minnesota. Yeah, jump on our website, uh, uh, unboxingmystery.com, and uh, we're doing the big ones on. Uh, we're doing the big ones up here on uh, our website, unboxingmystery.com. Oh, do dum dum. Oh, sorry, Donnie. Uh, buy another one. We'll try and make it spicy for you, man. And don't put on the two pairs of women's boots. <laughs> Can I buy a mystery box in the mail? I'm in Minnesota. Yeah, Thomas, uh, unboxingmystery.com. In fact, I'll put it in the uh, bio on this link. Sorry, Catherine. Uh, it should unfreeze in a second. I got my box today, and it was good. Right on. Leave us a review, uh, RH. We appreciate that. How many items in the ship boxes? Five in the small ones, uh, ten in the big ones, all at unboxingmystery.com. Scott, do you only mail them to the States? I live in Canada. Uh, so the issue we had with Canada, uh, Scott, was uh, <laughs> everybody wants a $7.99 pallet RH. Just you got to come to the shop, though. Um, so the problem with Canada is it's got to go through customs. And to get through customs, I have to know what I'm mailing. So I think the only way to actually be able to do it internationally would be uh, I'd have to open the box on camera for you, and then I'd be able to itemize the items going into the box, going through customs. Uh, that's the only way I think we're going to be able to pull that off so far. I've asked my accountant if he could figure out another way, but uh, we're still waiting to hear back from Scotty. You still have pallets available? I'm due for another. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's up, Scott? How'd that ice maker do for you, bud? <laughs> that is you, right? Uh, right on, Scott. Scott Edward and Scott Woodward. Yeah, we got some cool ones. Uh, like all these white packages right here are all full of these things. Those are pretty tight. Uh, there's three, four, five, six, seven. Um, that's a six ninety nine pallet. You got your money back in those things. These are funky. Uh, it looks like woman's shoes. But it's not, it is, uh, I'll just give you a little quick, whoop, you know what that is, right? <laughs> I'm going to put that back in there. There's a few of those in there, too. Uh, it's breastuses for men, <laughs> or uh, breastuses for anybody that needs breastuses. Uh, those are pretty wild. Uh, we've got a ton of pallets out here. Uh, all these gigantic uh, seven-foot monsters are six ninety nine. dollars We've been doing really good with them. Uh, you gotta, even Scott got one, you gotta kind of knock on them and you want to aim at the ones with a wooden crate at the bottom. Uh, <laughs> Scott got like a $3,000 ice maker on his. I pulled a uh, uh, $1,000 vacuum sealer off of another one. That we'd open. That sounds wood. I have more wood ones out here somewhere. Anyway, as soon as we uh, sell another one, we'll go back live again. Um, right now, we're making up mystery boxes, so hit us up at the website if you guys want to buy another one. Unboxingmystery.com. And thanks for tuning in, guys. Julie, hello.